Hey folks, I'm just going to start this video over again real quick. So my goal today is to make a cheap, easy rekey from a, I believe, defiant lock that has an easy screw off and pull out core. Or, yeah, I believe that's what that is. So pulled that out. Now, in this case, I'm going to use six number six screws number six dash thirty two screws they are I believe one eighth of an inch deep let's check I've heard these referred to as grub screws on here it says they're socket sets screws. I will post a link to where I bought those. The key thing is to remember they are six number six screws dash thirty two. I forget what thirty two means. Well <clears throat> they're supposed to be exactly thirty two or one eighth of an inch deep. They're not. They're seventeen over 28. Of course, this is a not nearly as good as it should be pair of calipers. Sometimes you just need to spend a little more money to get a better quality. But anyway, so I already knocked out two of these using the punch that <coughs> DB and Olam sells. I didn't end up buying this from him, but if people want it's it's called a spring spring tools got two kinds here this is the one that db and all them had for a what, red team bag where you at least want to demonstrate that a business's doors could easily be popped off and then provide a solution for how to prevent that from being an issue and it's also the only kind of punch I've got, but it works. Originally had to drill out some of these in a different, some of these caps. Man, it's going to be really jarring to watch, isn't it? Oh, there's so much background noise. Anyway, I originally had to drill those out, but that was really a pain to block the whole drill just right. Okay. So, we then get our 6-32, number 6-32 hand tap and our hand tap handle. I got this from the same store. I'll link to where you can get them because I tried a few places before I ended up buying these. Okay, if I turn it farther than I need to. Sixteenth Allen wrench, which we then use to put in our grub screws. If for some reason you have the tap already, but you don't want to buy the screws, and you've got some old computers lying around, you might be able to find in them desktop computers specifically. You might be able to find a bunch of these screws, which also basically fit. Although what I've noticed is once you use these, you can't switch back to using the grub screws because I believe these are just a little bit bigger. And on the other hand, one downside to using those is you're going to have to cut two of them so that you're going to have to fabricate your own grub screws, basically, because two of them had to be turned into 
uh, flathead screws so that they would all fit. So, you know, if you want to really go DIY, that's the way to do it. You could probably just screw those in without even needing a tap, too. Right, so, I'm going to test right now. And also, having a regular punch would probably work better. If you want to use a drill, go for it. I ended up having to use my Dremel because I started with a smaller hole and worked my way up because I couldn't get a fit. It was kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, I didn't explain why I had to do that originally. I did this originally because this, a few weeks ago, this pick got jammed inside this lock. In order to get it out, I had to drill out the holes so that the pins could be pulled out the top. It's then allowed me to get my pick. It's going to cause confusion. Of course, I just dumped my... I well, should be able to tell the difference with the, <clears throat> the top pins and those things. Anyway, I should probably fast forward at this part at least. Okay, one major perk to this is if you do not already own a follower, you will not need it to put the lock back together. You need to make sure you shake all the gunk out that you just created. Do that. Pin. Make sure you don't lose the pin screw, which is a spring, which you probably just saw me slide in there. Don't lose the entire cap, especially not when I'm not making a video. Right, it was still attached to the tool I used to pull it off. Which you also don't need. It's just useful. A uh, tension wrench will usually do the trick. Okay. We'll point out though that it's particularly helpful when you're doing this. Put a top pin in and lock the lock. Top pin. Now I have an easy to re key the lock. I forgot to turn that off. Okay, well, hope somebody found this informative. Have a good night, everyone.